Yo guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Roblox to work on Linux. And it's actually pretty simple. And this works just like the Windows version. So if you click play on like a game on the website, you, it'll take you into the game and you can use the Roblox app just like on Windows. And the bonus is that you get like triple the FPS on Roblox compared to Windows. And this is because it doesn't have Bifron. As the Bifron anti-cheat on Windows it basically causes everyone's fps to like half and it caused roblox to like lose support on linux as they were too lazy to make it support it so some guy made this thing called sober which is basically a modified version of roblox android and it uses that android apk and lets you play roblox through it but it gives you the full pc experience and you can edit the client settings and everything it's basically the same experience as windows but with triple the fps so what you want to do is just go to the this Sober website, I'll put it in the description, sober.vinegarhq.org and as you can see, it says we're testing Sober, an unofficial port of Roblox to Linux and this is completely native, you don't need to use any emulator, virtual machine, anything. It runs directly in the system and obviously as I explained earlier, because of the lack of Bifron, your FPS is, it says up to twice, but from my experience it's almost triple in some games. Now be before you do this, you need to make sure that Flatpak is fully installed and sorted. Now in most Linux distributions, it should already be like pre-installed and sorted, but um, if not, just use whatever package manager you have. So for example, I'm using Arch Linux, so I'll just do sudo pacman-s um, flatpak and press enter and it will install um, flatpak for me. But as you can see, I already have it installed, so if I open it, or I, it will capital S. But as you can see, it says warning, flatpak is already up to date, reinstalling. This is because I already have it installed, but in your case, you'll just um, type that in. So, for example, if you're in Ubuntu, you do sudo apt install flatpak, and it um, should install it like for you, assuming it's not already pre-installed, which it should be. And if you're really confused, just go to flatpak.org uh, slash setup, I'm pretty sure. And if you, I'll put this in the description, but it's pretty easy to copy anyways. But this gives you like a guide on how to set up that flat pack on any Linux distribution, whichever one you're using. So got like basically anything you can think of, Raspberry Pi, Kubuntu, even Fippin Kubuntu, they have everything. You can even you play Roblox on Chrome OS using this, which is pretty sick. You just follow your the tutorial for whichever Linux distribution you have. And yeah, now after you do that, it's pretty simple. There's this command flat pack install dash user. Basically, once you install Flatpak on your system, it will give you this Flatpak command. So if you do Flatpak install, it will install a Flatpak app. And when you do dash dash user, this will install Flatpak on your, on your specific user account instead of on like the whole system on all accounts and even the root user. So it's pretty handy if you have multiple like accounts, but if it's just you, it doesn't really make a difference. And then this is the um, URL to the package for Soba. So it'll just uninstall it for you. All you have to do is copy it open your terminal and just paste this in and then it should ask you whether you're like sure you want to install it so click yes and boom done it's installed that quickly and now in case you want to uninstall it you just do flat pack uninstall and whatever you want to uninstall so for example if you want to uninstall soba you just do that and it'll say found installed package soba so click yes and then proceed with changes and that but i don't really do that right now and now soba is fully installed so now I can just go into my start menu and boom, as you can see, Sober is installed in the setup. Now you can just open it, pin it to your task manager if you want to. And yeah, for me, it's already logged in because I already had Sober installed previously with my account logged in and everything. But if you haven't done this before, it should take you through like a installation process where it'll ask you for an APK package. So you would click select the package and select it from your um, like file explorer. And the place where you get this package from, there's plenty of different websites, but the website I personally use for it is APK Mirror. So you go in this and just search Roblox. And then you'll pick the top result. I mean, not in this situation, because there's like some fake Roblox app at the top, like some Chinese fake app. But obviously go to the real one from Roblox Corporation and the most recent one so as you can see this one was updated on august 15th 2024 so click it and then click on the first one the latest version and then go down 
and you should be able to see the APK bundle over here. So you just click on it and I should I click down on the APK bundle and I should save as an APKM file. I already have, like, have it set up and installed, but you're gonna do that and then inside of Sober, just select it and boom, you've got Roblox up and running. So now if I wanted to, I could go through the Sober app and click play on the game. And as you can see, the frame rate is significantly higher than on Windows. Like on Windows, I get like 300 FPS on Arsenal. But right now, I'm getting like a thousand. So yeah. And if you want to, you can even click play on the game from the website. So for example, if I want to join my friend in Rivals, I'll click join. And it'll launch so before me. He's, he's in like a VIP server, but anyways, it works. So yeah. Um, if you if you want to, by default, it's going to have the default Roblox FPS cap at 240 that you can edit through the menu. And if you want to uncap this or edit any other flag on Roblox, the to get there, you want to go in your home folder or root folder. In my case, I have a separate partition for home and root. For you, it will only be one. So you just go in home, go to your user, go to .var, app, and then these are all your flat pack apps. And I should see this folder called Sober. This is like your Sober app. So you double click it, go to data, Sober, exe, client settings, and here you can add any like Roblox FF flags if you want. I'll put the flags to uncap the FPS and also to um, remove the option to like cap it at 240 in the menu to make it uncap. And yeah, right now it's, it's gonna have like a lot of flags by default. But I'll put the flags in the description to uncap your FPS. And that's about it for the video.